Hi Descendants, welcome to another video. Jaber is getting buffed in Season 1. In this video, I'm going to showcase you three different types of builds and three different types of methods. If you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button or maybe leave a comment. And if you're super generous, maybe I've earned your subscription. Let's go. Before we get started, let's let's talk about the kit of Jaber. By default, he has actually um, a medical turret, which is a support turret, with the module attacking compulsion, he actually gains a second attacking turret. Two different turrets that you can put down that will do a lot of damage. Now, I will introduce you to the cheap build. This is about 57 capacities used right now. Obviously, you cannot, I mean, you can get this down to, if we talk realistically that you just picked up the descendants, you haven't invested a energy activator like I do, you would be, let's say, about 55 capacity or about so. Make sure you drop in some kind of a sub-module over here, whether it is maneuvering or just uh, some kind of... Just make sure you add the tank capacity on top over here so that you have enough room to play. Without this module, this build is not really going to work, so make sure you get going and you start working towards this. I personally my got mine from doing the bio lab the hard dungeon i did it with a few uh, friends on my stream and we just did like four runs we also get a couple of amorphous materials for the bosses and i got my transcendent module you get this module you invest a little bit of money in fact you invest 5.1 million gold if you want to max it out i always max out the ones that i will be using as a build so that i have enough capacity to play with now here what we want to put in terms of modules you want to skill expansion to have a higher range on your turrets so that you cover more area and then you want to stuff as much possible damage dimension damage and focus on non-attribute damage as well so the reason why i'm telling you to go for dimension is because uh, his turrets are actually a dimension skill so every dimension modifier that you get on top of what you put over here will actually help you out. Now keep in mind, however, don't try to overdo a lot of radius on top of it. The maximum expandable range is 200%, so from 6 meters to 12 meters. I'm two more things that I want to let you know about this build. The more HP you have, the higher survivability your turrets will have. So. Your turrets take 75% of your HP, of your shield, of your skill power modifier, and 80% of your defense. So your defensive skill matters. So I highly recommend the moment you get here a little bit more room, drop some, some increased HP or steam accelerant and something like this, right? Uh, for the purpose of this video, let's say this is just a fresh Jaber. Nothing. I will not put any HP on top. I just want to keep the modifiers. Uh, the reactor that I'm using over here is a dimensional reactor. As you can see, there are purple rolls. They're not perfect, but I do have a little bit of skill critical hit rate and dimensional skill power boost ratio. The other thing that I want to highlight over here, folks, is you need to put two specific modules, one or two specific modules into your weapon that you're going to be using with your reactor. In my case, I'm going to be using my Python. And what you want to put in here is expand weapon charge. And if you want to have more rounds in your third ability, uh, you actually can put another maximized weight balance that is going to give you a little bit more rounds per magazine. The reason why I'm telling you that you need to put this is that this skill, your third ability, is actually you're pulling out a um, unique weapon, which is basically... With this weapon, you can actually shoot your turret and you can enhance your turret to do more damage. And if you shoot it twice, you reset the duration of this turret. So by default, this weapon has three shots. When you put expanded charge, you get it up to four shots. And when you put another module that gives more magazine, you get it up to five shots. So this is just convenience. However, if you don't put like two mods, I highly recommend you ex at least put expanded expanded weapon charge in your weapon so that you have four shots at least. All right, and now let's talk about where are the three methods, uh, the, the methods that I'm going to show you where you can actually power level yourself solo. You can do this in a group absolutely if you want. The bread and butter about Jaber is that you have your friends, your turrets. So we are going to go to the popular spot of Void Fragment um, and I'll show you two methods over there that you can do to power level yourself. Now, I do this in a private so I don't mess around and so that I can show you around how to do it. Now, you know this mission probably so far you've seen and heard about this where actually one non-attribute character stays, stays over there. 
activates the void fragment and then a bunny or a Falbi or a Viesa or someone that has huge AoE just stands here and one shots the mobs over here and both players actually abort the mission. This is one of the fastest way to get experience in the game currently. However, I'm going to show you two methods. One method is going to be exactly this, how you can do this by yourself without anyone. And the second method is going to be actually doing the entire mission. So what you want to do over here now, you want to pull out your turret over here and you want to place it just between this crack over here in the middle somewhere, somewhere like close to this section over here. What you want to do next is you want to shoot this twice. This gets him max duration and it is enhanced you put the second turret over here and as you can see right now the mods are just getting melted and if i do this it will just stay like this if you want you can shoot this one more time to keep them um to keep the turret enhanced and then you abort the mission another trick that i can actually show you is if you actually use your ultimate ability to blow up um, your turrets now if you use your ultimate ability just to show you if i use my ultimate ability this is going to blow up the the turrets that i have but what i do actually get from that is if i put another turret after that this turret is already going to be enhanced so you don't have to shoot it right so in between fights if you can use your ultimate and uh, basically also have already an enhanced turret out there now i can shoot this enhance it when it's enhanced it does more damage uh, ideally of course you want to keep it enhanced and the duration up right and the second method is if we want to do actually the, the entire mission you could technically do it however it will take you a little bit more time it will not be that efficient so what you want to do over here is again put your turret Make sure you enhance it and max out the duration. You want to actually shoot it. That's why having more bullets is actually way more beneficial. And then the second turret, what you want to do is place it just about here. Shoot it once. Shoot again the void fragment. And now all the other mobs are going to show up here. Now you can also put out the other turret because this one over there expired already. And that's about it. You kill everything over here. You can support with your weapon if you want. But technically, the turrets are going to be just fine and will do the job for you. And that's it. You take like literally just a little bit more. Okay, it took me about 30 seconds to complete the entire mission. And I did get all types of void fragments and a little bit of gold, a couple of modules and stuff like this, right? You could technically do this with him, as you can see, super conveniently. So those are the two methods that you can do over here. And now let me show you another method that is even less running around. And you will also technically also could make about three, two and a half to three million gold per hour. And this is going to be in sterile land hyper mine. Now, keep in mind that this is the Kuiper Mine mission is not as efficient as the Vobby Run mission, where you can make between 6 and 7 million gold per hour. But however, this is a very chill and super, super, super chill. It works best if you do it in a party, but I'll show you that you can actually do it uh, solo as well. I do actually have a different build for this. So let me show you the other build. And before we do that, before I start the mission, I actually want to uh, show you the other two builds, right? So technically, let's say you put an energy activator, you decided that you want to main Jaber, right? Or just play him and build him out. You put an energy activator on him so that you can increase the max capacity to 80. And from there on, you will start putting catalysts. As you can see, I already put one catalyst, but in the first build, I purposely didn't put any modules in it to show you that you can extremely do that super easy without actually having catalysts in it, right? Once you start getting more catalysts, you want to start using more modules that are going to benefit your builds right so you want to throw in a little bit hp you're again remember the turrets take 75 percent off your defensive stats you get them more tanky they don't die here and there what you also want to put in is duration duration is going to increase the amount of your uh, duration of your turret and the enhanced status of the turret another very important and you know very useful stats is cooldown if you have a a higher cooldown reduction this means that you will be able to actually you know not wait so long on your third skill if you run out of bullets you'll be able to pull it out so much more quicker and this is going to be beneficial 
Now for Hypermine, I do have this type of um, build where I do have a little bit more skill duration and a little bit more cooldown. Not so much damage, more cooldown and duration is what I'm going for the Kuiper Mine build. Now, let me showcase you the Kuiper Mine build. Again, this is what, what you want to do over here in the Kuiper Mine. Once you set up with the first phase, you just want to keep up both turrets alive and you want to uh, enhance them at all times. So shooting them twice is going to keep make them enhanced and is going to have them um you know be enhanced and have a longer duration from here on it's just keeping them up and shooting them even if one of your turrets is going to go down no biggie you put pull down another turret and stuff like that you see the duration and this is about to run out that's why i'm saying the more kill cooldown you have over here this is going to benefit you a little bit more Right now, I'm just showcasing you this build. You can obviously make this even better, even stronger. Um, I actually, for this particular um, mission, I actually also run a different reactor, not the one that I'm actually using right now. Over here, we have skill critical hit rate and dimensional skill. I do have a reactor which has skill cooldown and skill critical hit damage, for example. I have several reactors. You can play with cooldown, you can play with duration, you can play with uh, skill critical hit rate and, and, and so on and so forth, right? So this is a very, very convenient way to same AFK and level your way up to, um, you know, higher levels, obviously, and, and just keep up your turrets. And that's it. Yesterday, we tested this on, on stream with the full party. They were just sitting here enjoying their life you know they know nothing nothing too fancy nothing too difficult by the way if you're looking for a community to join um i quickly want to shout out our discord over here our discord is getting pretty big we're about 600 members right now by the way we were 20 members two weeks ago this this discord just blew up out of nowhere um if you want to join our discord over here you will be able to find so many new friends and and just have generally fun People were hanging out in, in voice channel. Um, we have builds uh, channels with different builds for every descendants where everyone is sharing their descendants. We have discussions. We talk about different builds, different mods. We theory craft together. If you're just looking for a community to join, the Discord link is going to be in the description below. And I will be more than happy to meet you there, to join in voice chat and meet you and talk to you. This is Jaber. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments below if you find this useful. Very soon, I will share you a fully maxed out build for Jaber. Stay tuned.